Well, it really hooked you in with that trailer, didn't it? But can it actually pull off a movie? Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Sisu. The, this was a film that just kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, I hadn't heard anything about it until I went and saw John Wick Chapter 4 and then they showed the trailer, which good on them for showing the Red Band trailer because holy shit, that really, really pulled you in. Not only with just the quote of this is the best time you've ever seen getting not a Nazis getting destroyed, but also the gore that was in it. Wait, the knife through the head or when he threw the mine and hit the guy in the head and exploded. There is one issue that was a lot of those shots that are in that trailer. Those are the best parts of the movie. The film follows a character who is a former Finnish commando who is out in the wilderness just digging up gold. Towards the end of the war, he finds a shit ton of gold, puts it on his horse and starts walking back to the bank. But then he encounters a bunch of Nazis who figure out that he has gold and he gets into this cat and mouse chase where it kind of goes back and forth between him being the mouse and the cat in terms of killing these Nazis, and at first it's pretty cool. It's pretty intense. This guy is definitely a badass. We get that established. There is a lot of really good visually showing you, not telling you, for the good first half of the movie. I don't think a word is said for the first 10 minutes, except for... As the film starts to progress, it starts to get into silly territory. Now, admittedly, there is this my sense of belief in terms of what was going on was just getting stretched further and further and further as the film goes on, but it's still kept into a realm for the most part. Like, you're not watching this movie for, like, hard-rooted characters. There are some interesting interactions, there's some interesting dark moments, but really you're watching this for this dude to kill some Nazis, and you get that. You absolutely do. But holy boy, does this movie just push your disillusion just it goes so fucking far to the point where i couldn't even believe what i was fucking watching it keeps going and going and going to the point where this dude is literally unkillable as the film gets towards its climax there's something that happens at the very very end that i was like nah i can't handle that nah no there's no fucking way you're alive so that was probably the biggest kind of break for me. But you're watching this movie for the action, of course. It's good, but again, a lot of the best parts are in the trailer. There's not a lot that actually happens. This is a very short movie, guys. And it's unfortunate when you see those action scenes already, and you just had this impression from the trailer that just gave me a sense that there would be more, I guess. It sort of takes the idea of a one man against a, a small army idea concept from the original Die Hard, but then it goes into the unbelievability of the last Die Hard movie. And as that switch becomes more and more apparent, I just started to lose interest in the movie, to be honest. And it's why I really enjoy the first half of the movie. I really, really enjoy it. But in the latter half, I just feel that it gets too silly for me, too ridiculous. Good on the guys for making this movie. A lot of the stunts and the fight scenes and the shooting is really good, but I admittedly was disappointed. I was not as thrilled with this movie as I was hoping it to be. As I said, the best shots are in the trailer and that does sour it quite a bit. If you haven't seen the trailer, it probably would be a lot better for you. But for me, it's not what I was hoping for. It didn't give me what I kind of expected. So in the end, I'm going to give Sisu a 3 out of 7. I feel bad giving it that, but I watched this movie about three weeks ago, and I had to search my brain to remember bits of this movie because it's just not that memorable to me, despite some really good kills. I I'll still give the mind throw. That's still the best fucking shot in the whole movie. But aside from that, that's all for me, guys. What did you think about this movie? Have you guys seen it? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.